In today's video, I want to create this shot. Look at me. Look at me. So, let's get started. Drag your background video into the timeline, rotate it 90 degrees, and scale it to fit our screen. You can also edit in real size, the process is the same. Since the background animation is too short, I need to duplicate it a few times. For better control of moving layers, we should turn on the free layer option. Next, place the dollar in the second layer and increase the duration. Then, change the blend mode to brighten. Put the eye animation in the third layer. To remove the green screen, go to the cutout section and enable the chroma key option. Use the color picker to select the green color and then increase the intensity until the green is removed. To create triangle and the rope, what software we should use, Jimmy? I guess Photoshop or Canva. Wrong answer. We use only CapCut. Many creators on YouTube use Photoshop and Canva, but you don't always need other programs. Just press and hold the Windows key and the dot key on your keyboard. The emoji and shapes window will appear. Go to shapes and find any shape you want. For this animation, I need a triangle. Rotate it and add some glow. Set the range to 100 and the intensity to 30 or 40. Hold Alt and move the text layer up to duplicate the text layer. Delete the shape text and press the dash key a few times to create a dotted line. Reduce the distance between characters to negative 3. The animation should be in the middle and down of the shot. When you rotate it 45 degrees, the center of the shot will be the top of the rope, similar to an old clock when it swings left and right. If you want to see if rope and corner of triangle are aligned, just zoom in on the screen and move it to the right position. Increase the duration because we need a lot of time. Select both text layers and change their color and glow to red. Make it a compound clip. Now, move it to the top of the shot and make a keyframe for rotation. Rotate it with the eye movements left, right, and center when the eye look to camera. If you want a longer animation, Duplicate the eye animation and copy the keyframes at the right moment, or just rotate it again with the eye movement. If duration of layers aren't correct, duplicate background and increase image duration. For smoothing keyframes, right-click on the layer, show the keyframe animation, and choose Auto Curve for all keyframes. Add another text layer and write, look at me. Choose a font. It doesn't matter which font you use, but I prefer light and thin. In animation, loop part, apply jiggly and increase the speed. Then move it under red rope layer. For effects, use lens effects like Hazy, Vignette, and Chroma Blur. In effect settings, decrease the blur and set aberration to 52 or 51. Because, I don't want very glitchy edges. There is also a blink effect. It's optional, but I think it makes it more realistic because it feels like the shot is our point of view. Place it when the eye is in the center of the shot and he looks at us. At the end, 
add edge glow, and decrease the intensity of glow to achieve the same dreamy look on all layers. Select the dollar layer and make it a compound clip. If it turns black, don't worry. Just change the blend mode to screen again. Now, I want to add the play pendulum effect in the nightclub part. Set the strength to 3 or 5 and the twist to 30 or 40. I just want a little movement on the paper. So, let's take a look at what we made. Look at me. Look at me. If you want a more video like this, just comment. Look at me. If you found this video helpful, like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. <laughs> True.